You barely got to your desk at the office when a co-worker you work closely with says, You gotta hear this one. Come with me. The co-worker takes you into one of the conference rooms and tells you a secret that a mutual colleague shared with her. Everyone in the office thought the mutual colleague was a saint in how she lived her life and treated others. However, the secret was quite juicy and definitely put a question mark in your mind about the goodness of the mutual colleague. Of course, your co-worker made you promise not to tell anyone the secret because she had promised the mutual colleague not to tell. But because you and the mutual colleague are so close, the co-worker felt you needed to know so the mutual colleague never takes advantage of you. And now that you know this horrible secret, should you keep it to yourself or share the dirt as your duty to help others that you perceive need to know? As you consider whether to share, your mind turns back to a prior time when you were the one who had a secret that you shared with a best friend. However, the subsequent event that occurred following your best friend's decision to tell another your confidential secret was among your worst nightmares ever. At that time, you remember continually questioning yourself as to why your best friend would tell another. Yes, over time you healed, and people forgot but you were left with a mental scar following the event. From your training with the Stoicists, you now know that people tell secrets about themselves because the pain to keep the secret to oneself is too great to bear. To tell another is a soul-cleansing experience. Not only do you liberate yourself from the pain of your prior actions, but you perceive you have shown yourself to be a better person by admitting your faults to another. You have become accountable to another whom you trust. As the book of James states, Confess your faults one to another, and pray for another, that ye may be healed. In short, you told your secret so you could heal mentally. But now your mind turns to the best friend who told the secret. Did that best friend feel they must now tell your secret to another so they also can become accountable? The answer is no. Firstly, the best friend received a juicy morsel that they can now horse trade for something they want from someone else. In short, it's a bargaining chip for them. And you remember your best friend telling you that they had to tell your secret to X because X made them do so. However, Months following, you learn that your best friend initially dangled your secret in front of X so that an exchange could occur. Second, you have the best friend acting as the executioner for your sin, your secret. Why? In your best friend's mind, they have judged you as guilty and you must be punished. If your best friend thinks you have been punished enough already, then your secret is safe. But rarely does this occur. Your best friend will most likely view your secret as being an awful thing that you did and you need immense pain. So, what better way than to share your secret with others? Hey, it's also in the best interest of society to do because they are protecting others from you, right? At this point, your stomach turns sour and you wonder how anyone could ever be considered your trusted friend. Third, there is one additional scenario that the Stoicist covered with you. What if the secret you divulge is one that your best friend already knows about? Since your secret is already public, no horse trading is likely. Also, no punishment is in store. So, is the best friend going to keep your secret now? The answer is most likely no. Instead, they'll turn to the wonderful old pastime of gossip. And hopefully in their mind, you will have shared even richer information with them so they can add much more spice to the story to make the gossip even juicier. So, do you share the secret? Well, are you a horse trader, executioner, or gossiper? If neither, 
then you have one last option, which is to act as a trusted friend to the mutual colleague and keep your trap shut to others about this unfortunate event. Now using my stoic storytelling method, my co-worker told me a secret about another co-worker. Should I keep it to myself? What injures the hive injures the bee. Marcus Aurelius Whoever goes about slandering reveals secrets, but he who is trustworthy in spirit keeps a thing covered. Book of Proverbs I will keep the secret to myself. I realize that sharing the secret with others only injures all of us. The character trait I improved was maintaining my silence following hearing an unpleasant secret. Thank you for sharing your mind with me. For your continued success, hear my secret. When told an unpleasant secret about a co-worker, don't follow the crowd and be a best merchant. Now relax, control your mind, and be as you wish to seem, empowered. Remember, it's the situation keeping my connection with him. I'm Lori Stiff, the Stoicist, your Christian life coach, and I believe in you. If you like what you mentally now see, Join my website to learn and think like me at stoicmatchmaker.com.